So I did a One Piece video, specifically one on Mihawk's Black Blade. And I mentioned that increasing a blade's durability, in this case by hockey, increases its sharpness. And a lot of people said that doesn't make the blade sharper, it would have had to be sharpened to begin with. And I think these people are conflating two things. They're conflating edge fineness with sharpness. In the real world, when we say test knife sharpness, what we are testing is not just how thin the edge is. We're testing how well it cuts. Let's say that you have a blade with an incredibly fine edge, but that edge is so fine and weak that it distorts as soon as you start cutting something. That blade will cut as if it is dull. And if it deforms a lot, it'll cut as if it is really dull. We will call that a dull blade, even though its edge is finer. Meanwhile, if you have a slightly dull blade that cannot dull anymore, that blade may cut better than the blade with the finer edge. We would call that a sharper blade. In fact, sharpness, when it comes to actual blades, has to do with a lot of different things. How fine the edge is, how durable the edge is, how brittle the metal is. In fact, in a professional sense, at least in the culinary world, blade sharpness is how easily the force that you apply to the blade overcomes the strength of a material you're trying to cut. And this can be accomplished in many ways, not just by making the knife's edge very fine. So yes, infusing this blade with hockey doesn't make it any finer, but if we were to measure this blade's sharpness the same way that we measure the sharpness of knives today, we would call that a sharper blade due to its durability. Because due to its durability, it cuts better, and cutting better is the only thing we care about when we measure sharpness.